Another device is, uh, this one's called the Mira. There's also one called Inito, and they're similar. Um, you pee on this and stick it in the device, and it's gonna read out for you your um, estradiol levels, which is like a type of, your estrogen, and then progesterone, and then your FSH, and I think your LH. Now I'm, I'm blanking, but it's basically measuring four of the hormones that are at play during your cycle. And so if you take readings, you know, throughout your cycle, you can get a picture of, is my estrogen rising? Is my progesterone rising at the right time? Like, do I have enough FSH to, you know, stimulate an egg to be released? All those things. So again, if you like data and you want to walk into a provider's office having already collected some of your own data, because the alternative is you can go for blood draws at different points in your cycle and they can measure blood levels of some of these hormones and that would give you um, more information just to know what's going on with your body. So some people do like having all that data. Some people get stressed out about like obsessing over the data and why is my estradiol lower this month than it was last month and um, kind of hyper fixate on that. So I would say with any of these devices, with any data collection about your body, know yourself and know what's gonna stress you out more or less and make a decision on that. And again, with this type of a device or the Anito, you have to keep buying more of these test strips. And so it can get expensive versus some of the like one-time investments like the Aura Ring for the temperature or the Keg for the cervical mucus.